Hello guys and welcome to this video. Today we are going to talk about overloading functions in Python or function overloading in Python. If it seems to be terrified, let me show you the actual code example and we will go through how to optimize it. So this is the original main.py and it has format function. So format function is doing string formatting or argument formatting uh, based on the argument type. So originally it accepts any type of the argument, but if it's date time, it should return this string. If it's date type, it should return this one. And if it's time type, it should return this, um, this string. Now let me run. So you have, now, so as you see, Basically, there is if uh, there is no type match, it's going uh, to send back the original argument. So that's why we say is it today here. This is an original problem definition. So it's clear it's clear that we need to refactor uh, this code a bit. Uh, or is that to get rid of these if statements or to clean it up? The simple and the first idea. Uh, so come to, comes to my mind is using the decorators so that I have uh, written the formatter decorator. Uh, I've imported the functal uh, wraps from the functals and this is a decorated function. It has this if statement. Uh, the gain is here that the actual the type uh, management is wiped out from the original body of the function. Now it's, it's the responsibility of the formatter decorator. Yes, it will get the same result, but if it, it's not going to solve the original problem of our, uh, of our definition. The second, um, maybe the solution to this problem is using the dictionaries or the maps and register uh, the lambda functions or anonymous functions to act on the based on the type passed to the dictionary. So we are storing the date time date and the time strings as a dictionary key and we have registered this uh, lambda functions to return uh, the appropriate string formatted string back uh, to the caller. We are getting uh, the type name from the argument dunder class and dunder name then we get this uh, so this is bas basically should return date time date or time as a string and we get the value the right side of the map of the dictionary and called it uh, and named it as a callable because it's a real callable it's a function and then we check it if it's callable um, why we use a get here i don't want to get the key error if uh, there is no such key in the, the dictionary. But if it can't find the uh, key, it will return none. So that's why we need to check if it's not none or if it's true, then call this function. Calling this function returns back the formatted string. Else just return back the original argument. Um, what's, what's this? Close. Ah. My is called crash nice um it's okay <laughs> so yeah if you run as this with maps it will return back the same uh, the same result this is a much more cleaner way but again uh, we are accessing here some dunder uh, names we are using the dictionaries it's cleaner but uh, i don't like it so much here the better way is to use a function overloading. And we use the single dispatch for that purposes. It's from the functals. Uh, so the usage is simple enough. What we have here, we have the original format function uh, decorated by, by single dispatch. Then we are going to register uh, three functions differentiated by the type. And it will automatically detect which is a, which version of this format uh, to call. Here, uh, as we run, we get the same result. 
Uh, there is a, a great article about this uh, approach and the, actually the original code that I grabbed it here is from Martin Hind, the correct way to overload functions in the Python. Uh, basically, he is explaining what is overloading and what is single dispatch. But there is a, uh, also some other tools, the single dispatch method you can use inside your classes and there's also the multiple dispatch the multiple dispatch um, allows you to uh, overload multiple argumented uh, functions so called but it's uh, not out of box it's uh, the third party dependency you need to install mul a multiple dispatch and this is a sim similar usage um, uh, as a single dispatch. So here uh, you define the concatenate and you use uh, as usual. So you can get uh, to this article and check it out. I'm going to put the link um, in the description of this video. There's also a nice article by Guido. So he's explaining uh, how we can get rid of this thing. And this is the same practice, same method as a single dispatch. And also there is another article that uh, by Arpit, uh, he is explaining overload functions in Python and he's going in depth enough to register even uh, your functions in the namespaces. So that's really, really a uh, great article to check it out. Uh, yeah, uh, basically we are pretty done here. Uh, so I, I just explained what is overloading functions looks like in Python. So yeah, see you in the next video.